Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Area's tag. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's mm -hmm. authorized to fire. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds... Don't fire! I'll... I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just not enough space for everyone. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. You have a copy of a Shepard VI. Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Take care of yourself out there, officer.
Commander. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard, there's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me, but he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No, he doesn't. Why do you think your father is involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened, but I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Mm. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. 
When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark IV. It uses tiny Mass Effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? How'd you end up in the military anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. O although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Hmm. Life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see Jack one more time. It's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic to mildly insane. You have to admit, though, she did see through Cerberus back in the day. 
I might have even listened, but her tattoos gave me a headache every time she walked into the room. portrays its principles with gunfire. They're a radical pro-human group, so why did they just attack a human school? Interviews with faculty at Grissom Academy, next in the battle space. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I... lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking with him when the Collector said? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any better. 
I'm just glad it all worked out. That Jack is a mean SOB, but kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Hey. Commander. Hello, Shepard.
invasion successful. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Asian successful. Reapers eluded. than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. and light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander.
I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Yes, I have spoken to you. I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Palau's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Asari Intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in the Salia Nebula and the Nimbus Cluster. Good morning. Oh. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am? We've had this discussion, young lady. You have to call me Teresa. Maybe my son didn't have the chance to marry you because of this damn war. But you're still family in my book. Nothing will ever change that. I... Of course, Teresa. I'll come back later during your break if you want. Treat you to lunch? What do you say? I would love that, Teresa. Thank you. Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. So, want to send them to soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh. The Alliance can use your help. There's plenty of non-combat roles. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? She thinks we could do some good. Okay, I'll look at that recruitment brochure. Maybe they can use someone to stack crates or cook or something. Overcharging for goods, denying refugees basic services. It seems excelling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. Our home world. And now our people have lost their way. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranties. Please visit any of our Elcos Combine affiliates. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. We appreciate your visit. All personal needs. I think 
I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I could tell the commander, if we switch from financial BIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these Reapers win. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. If we switch from financial VIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody... I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help... Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Walked Fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my home will burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus three. Thinking of going? I don't think I can do this anymore. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. Colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not assume. Everything I can do to help. We have theft. Readily available on the market. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of Panama. It appears that Tyrion. I'm afraid I can't help you. <laughs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model or store credits or anything. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <sighs> but your manager said you could give me a refund. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Agor Munitions. For deals you never Remember, see coming. All purchases made welcome to Cipertine Armory. Thank you for... Combinations. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We are Armory Armory. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to the Citadel Gift. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. All licensed huntresses may apply for a professional discount. Good hunting. Oh, you're a bonded me, No, actually, my husband's a crow Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man. Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. 
I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. All goods have been marked down with our special war to discount. Neither should you. Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news! The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. I mean, it's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep? It'll happen, once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen. Do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus, Barlavon. 
He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Thank you for shopping at Kanala Exports. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Elkos Combine. If it exists, we carry it. Any opened goods can only Thank be you. returned for Come storage. Again. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, 
Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. You always did prefer a straight-up fight. And you're always good at helping me find them. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. It survived, Sarah. It can survive this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Even Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. Look at that. It's a Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up... What do humans call it? A dinosaur? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? Like the Collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos? Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. This one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the Galactic Community. Hmm. Galactic Community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet.
There they are. Let's get moving before more of them come back. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Return to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod.
They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold, it's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Everything we need to open the pod. Backup forces are here.
They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. Transmitting the signal. Perfect. 
It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there! I saw a supply cache in the building next door, if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Heavy mech, don't let it get close! open the life pod now. take him some time to fully regain consciousness.
Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Just you. You can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Turian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA, 
experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they hit it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind... I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? There was... 
was liquid, a form of incubation, the DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vylos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, 
planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. So much has been lost. So much has changed. And yet the Reapers are still here. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue.
Signal confirmed. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. The Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the Genophage. Absolutely not. The Genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. 
And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the Genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Don't insult me! Those are my people! They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back! Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. Are you expecting trouble? Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down.
Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex? No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Please don't touch that. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Really? You must stop touching that! Once more, the Solarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine. If you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzed. We've already been down that road. No more. Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Another incursion? Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's testing our defenses. Appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard. I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You'd fit right in. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the Broker was very busy. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravador sighted a few landing parties. 
The Reapers are up to something. Duchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight for the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good. <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on standing here doing this together? What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. Krogan do enjoy reminding us about the Rachni Wars, don't they? And Asari never let us forget they're better looking. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. Commander Shepard, I'm Lieutenant Tolan. I've heard about your exploits against the Reapers. All of it good, I hope? Your mission on Vermeer holds special renown in STG. The assistance you lent our team tipped the balance. But now, I'm not so sure. Security seems high. You expecting trouble? You've revealed the existence of Krogan, who are immune to the genophage, Commander. Word will get out. We're now a prime target. This is the only way to get the Krogan and Turians to cooperate. And us? Will we pay for your political expediency? I know about keeping secrets, and I can tell you this wouldn't have remained hidden for long. With all due respect, my people invented secrecy. And somebody else invented a way to breach it. What do you think about the experiments on the Krogan females? I was part of the team that found them on Tachanka. I wanted them eliminated. But our scientists insisted we bring them back for study. I don't need science to tell me Fertile Krogan will be dangerous. I hope we don't pay for misguided mercy. I'm surprised you even know that word. The Krogan don't? When have they ever shown mercy? What did you hear about Vermeer? You helped Captain Kirahe's squad destroy Saren's cure for the genophage. Which is ironic, considering you've come here to safeguard another cure. I wonder if Kirahe's men died in vain. Saren was raising an army of Krogan slaves to fight his war. This is different. Is it? Seems to me that's the same thing the Turians want. It sounds like you don't agree with what I'm doing here. You're upsetting a balance of power that stood for a thousand years. And if you succeed, we're ill-prepared to face a resurgent Krogan. The Krogan aren't the problem anymore. The Reapers are. For now. But once the Reapers are dealt with, history will repeat. Are the Solarians ready to fight the Reapers? Best way to win a fight is to avoid it altogether. But now, this business with the Krogan... You may have drawn us into it. It's going to happen sooner or later. We'll see. Good day, Lieutenant. I hope you can keep it that way, Commander. Send confirmation to the... You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready.
Now take this elevator down, and someone will... What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morden? Eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG? Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free females. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes. Can explain later. Security warning's not normal. Need to get off-world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These... didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed. Data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? That would serve no tactical purpose. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. Now, please release Krogan. Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. You'll see Tachanka again, I promise. Get to elevator, Shepard. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Time to delay, Commander. Are you all right? Is there another way out of here? Other side of the lab. And where's the CX? I can open it from here. Shepard, Cerberus Force is trying to locate female. Quarantine checkpoint under attack. Cerberus Force has landed on the top level. <laughs> Shepard, we're running out of time. We need to get out of here. Shepard, it's Rex. I took the ship. 
shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. This is very Italian. the next shadow broker. Not funny. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. would know best. Yes. Orion squad, your orders are to hold position and block access to next checkpoint. Being 
located. Taking them head on may not be the best idea. We may be able to flank them. Those turrets will chew us to pieces! The Salarian is dead. Maybe we can beat Cerberus to it.
shield strong, but not designed for direct fire. This isn't your problem, Commander. You don't know me. But I'd like to. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Just the landing area. Hope Erd not Rex still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. I'll see you up top. release. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of there.
Let's get you out of there. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good, hack it out. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Morden, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morton. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morton, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Come on.
Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Juchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch. But Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Your men that crashed on Tachanka, how many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. The Solarian Dalatras worries about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers. But I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now. Standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. That's all. Of course, Commander. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. 
then talk about it some more. No offense. Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it, then think about it, <sighs> then talk about it some more. No offense. Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. And Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Secured better. Ah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Galarians might as well have been the raw. The Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die, and now that's about it. So a Prothean. A real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well? You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorcha? Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. Morton sent me a nicely crafted message. It seems he recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right there. Transhumans have some of their brain's abilities, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced by cybernetics. Legal definitions vary from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. Hello, Shepard. Commander. Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on the galaxy map.
You sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy. But it's behind me now. I'm fine. But it makes me think of Earth and all the other Reaper-occupied worlds. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here, enjoying our coffee. How many souls are in agony this very moment? Millions? Billions? Go, oh, Greg. I lied. I'm not fine. Hello, Commander. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh, no. I just felt I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. Commander. Work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. Feel free to look around. At your service. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. 
Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. And you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory learner. Need to hear self think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And <laughs> that, you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the Genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a Thresher Maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future. Like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. <laughs> Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. 
What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachonka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malon's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. How has Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. <laughs> Deal. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. So we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So the end justifies the means. Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. We'll always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now, if possible. Unless he could help. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. 
New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat, outlet for aggression, cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left, but still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right, to prove I can. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> you go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few, myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? I've never actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're the real brains on Tichonka. Good to see Morden still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. Later. survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them Collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones she encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. They moored this Cerberus. I do not understand why your own kind would oppose you. They will bleed the same as everyone if the Reapers are not stopped. The Rex Krogan offered me a job. He said whenever I tired of the easy life of luxury on the Normandy, he would give me something real to shoot at. Yes? Yes? saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. Stand down, yeoman. She is allowed to voice her opinion until I disallow it. Aye, aye, commander. But how does she get to say whatever she wants to the whole galaxy and there's no other side? I'll be clear that the opinion expressed is just my own. Well, okay. It's not great, but okay. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do.
Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So, before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. Wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sarkesh. I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Hey. Nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie. Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox.
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. This has requested a war summit of council races. The report suggests he has also offered an invitation to the probing. Tell Matriarch Athena that our huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Okay, I need surgery. When can I get back to the front? I don't know if these Mark Frontier is what? safe. Yes, yes. Refugees. All I can say is that unless we get those things like that, this fight is accomplished nothing. Thank you very much for your time. Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Ward Level Purgatory. Can't believe he did that. They were refugees. Damn, it's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their home their loved ones. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You think I don't like getting dirty? Whoa, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Just saying. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. You're still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Let's not overdo it. Well, you could at least buy me around. I had a feeling you were working up to that. Yeah, and I have a feeling you're not gonna buy me one. When we get back to Earth, I'm buying. Damn it, morale is hit. The truth needs nothing to bring back to the Remember the stories of the first
Commander Shepard. Please. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. But what I need is proof. I can't take your word on this. But those assumptions merely be my Venus refugees are reportedly fleeing to Turian colonies. Yes. Why do you refuse Cerberus forces have reportedly attacked a Solarian medical... Good morning. I... That, I'm not sure why. There was something important I had to do and... Oh, are you looking for someone, ma'am? I... Maybe. I have these papers, but I'm not sure why. Here, why don't I take care of these for you? Would that help? Yes. Yes, please. You know, you remind me of someone. My son. He's dating an Asari. She looks remarkably like you do. He's so very happy. Thank you. That's wonderful, ma'am. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was a gift from a thief I'd been chasing, Kasumi Goto. She died several months ago. Kasumi was a hero. She died helping me attack the Collector base. I merely wanted some data she'd stolen, Commander. I admired her personally. Her attitude was almost Salarian. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. <laughs> On it. Any idea what you're hoping to find? Suspicious transfers. Data usage outside the normal range for ambassadorial staff. So, we have no idea. Hopefully we'll know it when we see it, Commander. The more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of eleven 
billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Shepard, I expect you're curious about Major Alenko. Heard it on the news. How'd Caden go from sickbay to Spectre? Sorry you found out in such an impersonal manner. The Consul is in dire need of loyal agents. Alenko is among the first of many. It's about time someone recognized what Caden's capable of. Yes. A biotic, combat veteran with no PTSD, leadership skills, and most importantly, he is incorruptible. I will be keeping him close. Do not worry. The time, my schedule has a way of catching up to me. Will this be all? Any news from Earth? That is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical, she might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatras for you. Frankly, it's good Quentia spoke with you. His home world is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think he can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. I should go. I'll be here. just got a report that another ship made it off Palafin. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. This is going to be home for a while. Terry 
Afghan state arms. Your purchases are accredited to the hegemony. Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Refugees from Reaper-occupied colonies are being So, you're just sliding up behind enemy lines until the war is over. No, I've got a sign You finally made it off the Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. And I'm with you. I gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here have put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Commander, I've set up a secure communications with the Turian and Solarian governments and added their combat data to our boards. Hopefully it'll give us some idea of what's going on. Thank you. 